it's another beautiful day, Friday, July 26th, 2024. I'm at the corner of 4th and King in downtown San Francisco by the Caltrain station. Got a rail fan, Muni Metro this afternoon. We got a LRV2 set coming in. They're gonna be retiring those in the next couple of years. There's a T-line train heading for Chinatown. Two of them. The other one in the foreground is going to Sunnydale. Trolley runs right along South Beach Harbor here. Get this. Yeah, I'm standing on the promenade right behind uh, the right field fence over there. And if you ever wonder what McCovey's Cove looks like up close and personal, this is it. What an absolutely stupendous day. I am getting so spoiled with this weather that when I get home, I'm gonna be complaining like crazy. Probably gonna drive my wife and anyone else around me berserk. Well, as long as I'm by Oracle Park, I might as well check out the Giants dugout score. I see a lot of orange in here. Giants aren't particularly having a good year this year. They're kind of <laughs> they're below 500, but people still seem to support them. I mean, they had an incredible run of success in the early 21st century with World Championships in 2010, 2012, and 2014. Remember the 1989 World Series between the Giants and the Oakland A's? schizophrenic hats. You don't see uh, Yankees and Mets hats in New York that look like this. Well, the guy I like on the Giants is this fellow, Mike Yastrzemski, number five. His grandfather, Carl Yastrzemski, who played 23 years for the Boston Red Sox, he's probably my favorite all-time ball player. He was a Suffolk County, Long Island, born and bred guy, like myself. Went to Notre Dame University. Well, I didn't, although I visited it. But he was just a great guy. And it's nice to have one of his descendants playing Major League Baseball. Well, back alongside the end line is we have a fourth and king bound train of Siemens cars coming.
line running along the Embarcadero. There used to be a double-decker freeway over this road. I am so happy they took it down. So a lot of other people. How's this for a million dollar view, folks, huh? Good day to walk the dogs, take them out. Good day to do just about anything. station. On the end line, this is the last station before it drops down into the Market Street Tunnel. Okay, we got off at a very busy stop on this system. Powell Street. We got a rather unhinged person running around here. <laughs> a lot of lines serve this station. In addition, you have a separate station for the new T. And you also have the BART that stops at a separate station on it. Westbound, two car M to Balboa Park Station. Next J in eight minutes. K in two minutes. M in three minutes. Those announcements sound good. We'll take a ride on the M later that takes a roundabout route to Balboa Park, which is a major stop unto itself. LRV2s. a K for Ingleside Balboa Park. Arriving westbound, two car K to Balboa Park Station. Next J in eight minutes, K in 13 minutes, M in three minutes, N in seven minutes. Shuttle to West Portal Station in 23 minutes. I don't have to tell you where these trains are going. This pleasant announcer is doing it for me. Once this whole mishmash of traffic ran on Market Street, then they submerged it, and you have the BART submerged under a two. We'll check out some of the stations in Twin Peaks Tunnel further west. There's only two of them. Arriving westbound, one car J to Balboa Park Station. Next J in nine minutes, K in nine minutes, M in eight minutes, M in three minutes. Boa Park is where they have their shop for the 
They also work on the historic trolley fleet there. And it's a junction of the J and the M. Bart is also there. To Embarcadero Station. Next J in eight minutes. K in eight minutes. M in 12 minutes. M in six minutes. Check to Embarcadero Station. And this is heading to Embarcadero, it's a shuttle service. Well, now at Powell, I'm walking to the T station here, the new line that was opened up that heads to Chinatown and Sunnydale. Check it out, man, this is really exotic down here. Just something else, man. Beautiful. Look at this escalator that takes you down to the new T. Does this remind you of something in uh, New York City uh, on the Long Island Railroad? Grand Central Terminal. Not Grand Central Madison, you fools. Well, here we are in the new station for the T as we see a Sunnydale train serving the station. Sunnydale bound train. Chinatown bound train. I'll catch the next one and take a look at Chinatown. Let's go to Chinatown. Well, here we are, the last stop. Well, here we are. Have to go up a couple of good sized escalators to get out on the corner of Washington and Stockton here. Chinatown, San Francisco is the second largest Chinatown in the USA after New York. Thank God, Let's go to Powell Street, look what I have to do. <laughs> People in this city have to be pretty strong. Yeah, I'm along Powell Street, here's the cable car. Sacramento is we got a Fisherman's Wharf bound cable car coming down a steep hill. Runs from Powell Street where you can connect to the Muni and the Bart down past the Buena Vista Cafe to Fisherman's Wharf area.
Well, if you like cable cars, this is the place you want to be right here. The corner of California and Powell. Two cable car lines cross over here. Well, the California cable car there is heading uphill. Eventually, he'll come to Van Ness. Well, this is the Powell Street cable car heading down towards Fisherman's Wharf. You need a lot of patience to wait online to ride that thing. After crossing California, they drop off the end of the table. Scary hills. Well, from the corner here, you get a good glimpse of the Transamerica building. There are diamonds in railroads, but where do you find diamonds of cable cars? This is the only one that I know of. Here's a California car, They're not quite as popular as the Powell Street cable car line. You can get on this pretty easily. on the corner of Grant and California. And this looks like the heart of Chinatown. Man, I can't handle these hills. I don't have dynamic brakes in my legs. And I don't have uh, jet engines in my heels either. <laughs> back on Market Street. It was either that or walk up some steep hills to get to the metro. 
so I tried to be intelligent as a Cincinnati railway painted PCC goes by. Painted for Philadelphia colors. If you want to see these on a regular basis, more than one, go to Philadelphia, the Route 15. They have at least eight of them running along Gerard Avenue. Well, I'm back at Powell on the, on the Metro. Going to continue my trip west. Going to go to a couple of stations in the Twin Peaks Tunnel. And get to ride on an LRV2. service showing its age okay we're in an interesting station now forest hill right underneath the heart of the twin peaks tunnel that stop here are the M and the K, then they all go to Balboa Park. This station was featured in a number of Dirty Harry movies and Streets of San Francisco episodes. This is one of two stations under the uh, in the Twin Peaks Tunnel. This one and West Portal. East End was Eureka, but that was closed decades ago. Arriving eastbound, two car M to Embarcadero Station. Next K in three minutes, M in ten minutes, shuttle to Embarcadero Station in four minutes. There's third Next rail there, in no overhead wire. In seven minutes, well, here comes a train to Station in three minutes.
westbound to car M to Balboa Park Station. Next K in two minutes. M in seven minutes. Shuttle to West Portal Station in eight minutes. outdoors as you can see. So named because it's the west portal of the Twin Peaks Tunnel. the sun here.
PPM and the K run by here, they separate further down. Opposite side of the street now as the train heads into the tunnel. arriving here it terminates here and he switched to the inbound track all right we're at St. Francis at West Portal separate, eventually meeting up at the terminal, Balboa Park. It's chilly. <laughs> this code almost doesn't seem like it's enough. Man, I bet you downtown the sun is out. Here comes an M inbound. because I wanted to get away from the heat of the East Coast in New York. I sure did. It's 60 degrees right now, and I'm almost shivering.
There's a big shopping mall here. is at Winston and 19th Avenue. service the trolley fleet and you can see some of the PCC down there. behind me is the platform for the inbound K and J trains. Here comes a K. the lay of the land here. There's tracks going every which way. This guy go around the mulberry bush, going back to town, going around the shop. Looks that way. the J line and one place that I had to stop and visit was Dolores Park. It's on a high hill, you get a great view of the city, although today is not a blueprint day for getting the view because of the, the mist in the air. As you can see it's a beautiful park, very popular, even though it's not exactly a sunny day, but look at the views you get of the city from here. Rallies are climbing uphill past here. This line is actually a line that to the shop for the historic trolleys. This one's heading back to the shop. That's the 
Cincinnati painted car. When they go on and off duty, they traverse this line. Here we have a set of LRV2s climbing up the hill past the bombs. Finish our Muni rail fan in this afternoon at Civic Center. We can connect to the barn here. Get a few trains. I can listen to these announcements all day. If I listen to the BART announcements, I'd probably throw up all day. These cars are adaptable to high level and low level platforms. Parade continues. Always get to, good to get these cars. People out back east were imploring me to get as much of these as I could. 